I'm sure everyone clicking on this video is going to have read the recent TWAB and have noted the changes to 150 RPM hand cannons, how they're all going to be moved into the adaptive frame. As you'll see here, I'm using a 150 RPM scout rifle because it will still have the same damage numbers and it will still be a 150 RPM weapon, so it's going to have that same time to kill. Um, scout rifles tend to suffer a lot in the current meta right now due to their high zoom, their low handling, they're kind of unwieldy, hand cannons are basically just better in every regard, but now that they're going to have this slight edge on time to kill over all the 140 RPM can hand cannons in the future, I think that there might be a very, very small chance that scout rifles might have a niche to fill. So, what I'm predicting is that with the aim assist changes coming to scout rifles, where 100 aim assist is going to be a 15% wider aim assist cone, I predict that if you have a hip fire grip on a decent aim assist scout rifle like this one has only 39 so not very good but it's a 150 and 150s have pretty low aim assist if you have hip fire grip and throw a free hand grip mod on there couple that with the new aim assist changes i think that it's going to be decently easy to land hip fire precision hits with the scout rifle um you'll catch me running a bunch of dexterity mods reload speed mods stuff like that targeting mods just to help out as much as i can because the handling, the reload speed, they're all abysmal on this weapon. Like, it's garbage. That's part of the draw of a lightweight hand cannon, the 150 RPMs. They have such high handling, pretty high uh, stability, very high aim assist. The lightweight bonus just from being the frame, you know, that hidden plus 20 mobility. All that stuff adds into the value of that weapon. But now that they're going into the adaptive frame, I think that just the slight benefit of time to kill here will be a good thing. And it'll still have the added utility of being a long-range weapon. Um, you can use it at great distances. I'm just hopping into a game of control here. This is my loadout. I have chromatic fire because why not? Um, double primary. These are the rolls. This is the roll here. Nothing too crazy. And we're just going to see how this performs. I played one game with this earlier. And it was pretty fun. It kind of works. This map will be interesting. Control. Let's get to it. I'm sure the transverse of steps is just a better exotic to use than no chromatic no fire, no but I haven't used chromatic in quite some time, so I figured I'd slap it on and see what happens. Capture the zone like a good boy, and then we're just going to take it straight outside. Long range, fast time to kill. I hit someone with that, which is pretty interesting. He's jumping. Zone is yours. Missed those shots. Long range. It's kind of a headshot magnet if you're in the exact correct range that it shines. I'm gonna try and get into a hip fire group fight up here. Auto rifles are just better. They're also getting tuned, so that should make a little bit more space for scout rifles in the upcoming meta. But we'll see. Oh man, the chromatic fire didn't even touch him. That's unfortunate. I thought I was going to die there, that's good. Toss that over there, see what happens. Oh man, I walked into that fully spun up. Unfortunate. Now I don't know how well this would ever work in like real play or a competitive like trials something like that you know you're still gonna have a low handling weapon but with all these mods it really makes the problem a bit less bad I'm trying to hip fire where possible um but everyone's using ars right now so 
There's not a whole, there's not a very big market for hip firing in the current, current gameplay right here. The best method to avoid those ARs for me right now is still going to be just stay outside of their range or get close with my sidearm. Easy hip fire headshots. I did get very lucky with this roll. I saw it and almost deleted it. It was just sitting in my postmaster. Almost got rid of it. Oh, if I had landed those shots, that would have been perfect. Let's see here. Gemini Jesters. I can't land a single shot to save my life. Oh my goodness. There's a super. We might end up with a Mercy here, which isn't going to be a great showcase video, but... Suppose you can't win them all. What even is my heavy? Bad omens, probably. Yeah. You got a free Nova bomb. Enjoy. Oh my goodness! I missed my jump. But yeah, I got this. Drop it was just in my postmaster, almost deleted it, saw the TWAB, saw the changes to aim assist, and thought, maybe I've got something here. If I could aim better, that would have been easy. Unfortunately, I don't aim so good. It is nice um, that every gun has the same hip fire zoom, I guess, since there's no zoom at all. So it just uses your default frame of view. Um, so if you like using things like the Last Word or Tommy's Matchbook, Tommy's Matchbook, if I could speak, um, this will fit right in there with that. Same amount of zoom going on. Makes it feel a bit more consistent across the board. Oh, there's people over here. We're gonna go this way. go. This thing really feels like a magnet. I'm not sure if that's just default to the weapon or if that's due to the targeting mod I have. Probably a bit of column A, a bit of column B. But no matter how you're going to spin it, it is quite effective. And we took him down. Still died to the shield, but Stopped a super right there. Pretty cool stuff. Probably shouldn't have jumped right there. That was a silly idea. There's no way that I'd be able to see over that box, even if he was crouched on the other side. Ah, yes. I wasn't sure what was going on there. There were people to my left, people to my right. Figured I'd do the smart thing and take zero direction and just die. Goodness. From where? Hello? I said I got hit from behind me, but my team was spawning back there, so I choose not be to believe that. Thank goodness for having teammates that help right there. That dude using blink respect to that man. We'll take that easy kill. We'll also take the double. You know, all things considered, not a bad game. I really do like this Sky Rifle, and it's only going to get better with the changes to this archetype, changes to the aim assist, and then also changes to all the other weapons in the game. So I have high hopes for it. I hope it works out. Um, I hope it's good come the next season. 
but only time will tell. I just want to warn you that if you ever find a weapon like this one, if you ever see a 150 with hip fire grip, maybe hold on to it. Don't shard it just yet. I do believe the only 150s that can roll hip fire grip in the game right now are this one and Talons of the Eagle, which is the Iron Banner Scout Rifle. It's also in the kinetic slot. Um, I was looking at late GG earlier and some of the past TWABs, and it looks like all of the other Scout Rifles that were able to roll with hip fire grip, such as Does Not Compute or the Cut and Run, they don't drop in the game anymore, as far as I'm aware. And I'm not about to go farm for a scout rifle that may or may not be good in the next season that will also not have the next power cap. Towns of the Eagle will have the next power cap, though, so that'd be something to look out for if you go into Iron Banner again. Anyway, that's some quick coverage of the wrong side of right legendary scout rifle, 150 RPM, hip fire grip, freehand grip. Pretty nice, pretty good weapon. Go find one. If you are interested in farming the wrong side of right, which is the scout rifle that I use in this gameplay here, the best method that I know of to do that is to run the Flooded Chasm Lost Sector in the EDZ. You can get there if you fast travel the Winding Cove and then go to the marker on screen, the green one, that's where I am at the moment. The loadout that I used to do this when I was just filming the video was, uh, I used Runus Effigy with the Getaway Artist, just so that I have something shooting random ads when I'm running in there, and then Runus Effigy makes, you really don't have to handle any special ammo or ammo economy at all. Of course, if you have Fallen Guillotine, that can just melt the boss really easy anyway, so that's always a good bet as well. And then you just kind of want to run in from the Winding Cove entrance, skip all the ads, you can take a Sparrow with you, which you'll see me doing some of these runs in the background. Just go straight to the boss, kill him. If you do get the boss to drop the item, it will drop directly from the boss and not from the Lost Sector chest, so the chest that you get from killing the boss is really just a bonus if you're trying to farm this weapon. Still doesn't hurt to pick it up every time though, you don't really lose any time doing that. Now I know most people won't be able to fill the 150 RPM hand cannon shaped void in their heart after this season, but I'm just presenting an alternative here. I think that given the slightly increased time to kill that these would have over the 140 RPM hand cannons that we'll have in the future, it might be a viable option, and it would also be able to cover both short and long range if you get the hip fire grip roll that I'm talking about here right now. It's never going to have the same fast paced playstyle or in air accuracy playstyle as you get with a hand cannon, but it might just have that faster time to kill. And I think that with the changes to aim assist coming in the future, the 15% up to 15% wider aim assist cone. It should be a bit easier to land shots. You probably noticed in the gameplay there were a number of times where I would shoot, have the reticle right near someone, where if I was using something with more aim assist, it would have just drawn it right to the body, at least, if not a headshot. But I'm hoping that with the aim assist buff that's coming in just a couple weeks here, it'll be able to push that aim assist cone just wide enough that those shots will start connecting, you'll have a number of headshots coming in there, and it'll be able to successfully duel with other primaries possibly at close range and definitely a long range because it is at the end of the day still a scout rifle.